Hi everyone, it's Shaman. Welcome back to Med Bros. And today we're going to be talking about back to school tips. You might be a little worried about going back to school. You might be excited. You might be scared. You could be going to a new school, so that's always something. Regardless of how you're feeling right now, here are some tips that should help you, you know, ease into the semester. Ease. If you want to meet all your goals for the semester, then the first thing you should do is relax and have confidence in yourself. It might be cliche, but it is true that if you really believe you can do it, then your chances of succeeding at that go up dramatically. And that could be for anything you're trying to do this semester, whether it's studying, friends, research, really anything you're trying to get done. Whatever your goals are this semester, you really want to feel that you can accomplish them. For example, if you're anxious about grades, then that unnecessary stress can lead to you burning out faster. Or if you're too anxious about making friends or getting in relationships, then that can be rushed, then you can possibly end up in bad company, which is never good. Basically try hard, but don't be desperate for what you want. And that leads me to my next tip, which is to be friendly, but make good friends. This is good for so many obvious reasons, but I think the most important ones are you'll have less stress, obviously, and you'll just have more doors open, whether it's with professors, peers, really anyone, literally anyone. My third recommendation is something a lot of people don't talk about, but it's really important for you to know, and that is to not take on too heavy of a load. You need to balance classes, research, work, volunteer experiences, clubs, really anything and everything. If you have those events where you sign up for clubs and stuff, a lot of people just sign up left and right for things. And you need to take a chill pill and stop signing up for that many, <laughs> no. Your school might have one of those events where you sign up for clubs or any other activities and you don't want to be that person that's signing up left and right for all these activities. Some people wonder why they don't do as well when they're doing so many things, like basically all the things I mentioned. And that's just because they're doing too much. Succeeding at less is better than failing or even doing okay at more. But for the things that you do take on, make sure you take those seriously and try your best. My fourth tip is to make a schedule that works. And I know that sounds obvious, and you might already have a natural schedule. You don't naturally want to fall into a schedule. That's what most people do. They kind of see, okay, I want to go to the gym, so I'll just, seven works, I guess. You want to make sure your schedule fits everything you want to accomplish this semester into something reasonable. And that's also one of the reasons why you don't want to take on so many different activities. As school starts, you want to be actively modifying or improving it so that you can be sure that your goals are met. The fifth tip is something you can actually do right now, and that is to prioritize before school what is most important to you. Are you trying to get a publication this semester? Are you trying to get straight A's and improve your GPA? Are you not really trying to focus too much on school and focus on social life? So whatever you're trying to do, Make sure you know that that's what you're set out to do this semester. The last thing you want to do is have regrets about the focus of this school year. So if your goal was to get straight A's but you instead spent it on school drama, <laughs> I mean there's nothing else to say about it, it's just bad. So prioritizing your goals now will allow you to stay focused when you might start to waver a little bit throughout the school year. And make sure you're honest with yourself. Or if you're trying to party all day, at least be honest with yourself. So you don't have an epiphany at the end of the semester of what went wrong. You should know what you're getting into this semester. And my last tip is something you want to keep in mind during the school year. And that's to not be discouraged if you don't get what you want at first. It's a normal thing for you to get back to school, try so hard, and just fail on your first test. The last thing you want to do is give up on what you want just because of one test or a couple of tests. But that doesn't determine whether you're going to be successful or not. But what makes you a successful student is if you keep trying despite the roadblocks. 
This school year, some things will be harder than others. Some things will be unfair. Some people might try to uh, get in your way, to put it nicely. And this is not just for the school year. You want to keep trying at whatever you want to do until you finally get it. I hope this advice helped you with whatever goals you have for this year. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do for more videos like this. And I will see you in my next video.